funny right funny, now. Funny, funny, funny. But that'll lead into the next uh, Jay Prince, mm-hmm. which I think that, that that was crazy, though, Sam, at the Jay Prince uh, situation. Uh, yeah, we both saw it. We both saw it, right? And right here, I'm remember Rick Ross said, uh, forget your name, call your Uncle Tom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. I'm going. So it said, it, right? It said, Jay-Z is not a sellout. It said it right under in, in, the, um, in the video. And then underneath, Jay Prince said this, Jay-Z is not a sellout. I've known this brother for years, and being a sellout is something I've never witnessed in all the years I've known him. It's important that for us as people to not automatically go in hate mode before getting some overstanding beyond the understanding that you already have. I've interacted with Kaepernick personally and respect the deal that he took for the cause of injustice. Anybody disrespecting this brother lacks the overstanding of the beginning of the movement. We all know as babies and as adults, we had to crawl before we walk. So to power phrase Jay-Z, the kneeling was good. Now it's time to walk and eventually we shall run. I guess to sum this up, all I'm saying is don't become one of those who hates out of ignorance or hates just because another brother is prospering. I congratulate the homie Jay-Z and can't wait to witness the work he puts in. Oh, God, it looks like you're really ready to go in. I want to talk like first, it. but you go. No, no, no. I, I, I don't like it. Now, Sam, man, do your thing. I, I don't like it, though. I'm not liking it, but I'll let you go first. This, man. this yeah. is my thing, man. Um, I, I see where Jay Prince is coming from. Jay Prince is coming from he wants to see Jay-Z succeed. So do we all. So do we. Yeah. we all do. It's not hate that we don't understand how you sitting there with Roger Goodell talking about social injustice and all we have now to go on is a halftime show. That's it. That's not us being overly critical. That's just that's the facts. All we got right now is a halftime show unless anybody could tell us more. Right. And I think that that's all anybody has. So Jay-Z, uh, Jay Prince, excuse me, is just trying to go out there um, put on a good face for Jay Z and just make sure we know to just be patient, but doesn't have any idea what to think either. Yeah, exactly, and that, has no and, idea. And that's why I said I didn't like it because he didn't give a lot of, you know what I mean, like concrete like points to say. Oh, he said he's just not a sellout, but he didn't say okay, this, this, and this because he don't know. Nobody knows. And the the biggest thing for the NFL would have been to do for social injustice to kick it right off. Is give Colin Kaepernick his fucking job back. That would have been the best start of them wanting to show any gesture about them doing anything and saying, you know what? But for that, they, they would have to admit that you know it was a black ball situation, which they really don't want to admit. But it's a situation where the NFL, that's the first thing they should do. And then we'll say, okay, maybe they're moving somewhere. But the fact that you got Jay-Z coming in and say it was never about a job, it was about the job as soon as they fucking fired him and blackballed him. For him going against police brutality and using his platform to protest it. It became about the job as well mm-hmm. at that point. You can't just say it ain't about the job. He wants to play football again. He wants to play in the NFL again. He's putting out workout videos and whatnot. So that's what makes Jay-Z look a little suspect. Don't shoot Colin Kaepernick down. Don't try to say, oh, I couldn't get him here. You fucking Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. What you mean you can't get him here? You're jay Z. So they're going to listen to you, especially you like, you know what, Cap, you know, we see I went, I've been talking, you know, I got communication with the NFL. You know, we want to, you know, they want to get you back into the league. We got, you know, so-and-so, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But again, these are private businesses. These are private owners. And regardless of what the, you know, um, um, the NFL says or Roger Goodell, they could be like, man, we ain't fucking with that nigga. Oh, God, we talked about this yesterday. We, I, I, I kind of brought it up, but I want to officially ask you this. Are Roger Goodell and the NFL... Jay Z, Colin Kaepernick, even Eric Reed to a certain degree, all players, all parties involved with this, paid and known to just stay quiet. Does Colin Kaepernick know he's blackballed? Does Eric Reed know Colin Kaepernick's blackballed? And that's why he gives you some of the resistance. Does Jay Z know? Does everybody know? And everyone's paid to just shut up and be quiet. What's Colin Kaepernick's payout? A piece of that, in your opinion, part of that being to shut the fuck up and don't say anything. What you the- won't play ever again. I think he has to be a little strategic, especially making public statements. He has put little things out, you know, on Twitter, you know what I mean? I guess saying I'll continue to protest, continue to kneel, going at, you know, pretty much saying it to Eric Reed and others who are can continue to do it. But maybe I would love, and I think the people, you know, this would be like an official press conference. Like, what do you think about, you know, um, Jay-Z, you know, purchasing the team? And what do you think about, you know, you not getting a job? This would be an official statement. They should have a press conference on this. But um, 
I don't know, man. I, I don't want to throw anything on anybody to say this is a they they're in collusion, you know, to say that or he took a payoff just to keep you know to keep quiet. I I would never want to say that about the brother, but the more time goes on, it's just like yo, where are you at, cat? We want to know because if maybe you and Jay-Z, I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's a master plan. Everybody keeps talking about, oh, when Jay gets the team, we're gonna bring Cat back and that. And I don't know about the situation, but I can't go on record to say that they're all in collusion. They took a pay payoff to shut up, but it can start to look like that after a while if they don't speak up officially on record. I think that rumor that Jay-Z will bring in Colin Kaepernick is absolutely crazy. You'd have to go oh, yeah. own a team first, which how many years that's gonna take. Who knows? Very near future, don't mean tomorrow. And two, Colin Kaepernick would have to be ready if everything's not going on. I, I I tend to believe or tend to go along the lines with you. A part of me wants to go, yeah, Colin Kaepernick has done enough. I can only imagine how much courage it took to go out there, Neil, city to city, dealing with what you yeah. dealt with, dealing with being blackballed, just the, the shit that you probably had to deal with. Like I said, you deserve to go down in history with Ali and our other martyrs, Jim Brown and things like that, as one of the greatest athlete um, spokespeople for black social injustice ever. Facts. You, 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 put your, you put it right on the front line and you've lost your job for it. But I have to question now the silence on the other half. It's like now you are that spokesperson. So is now the time to go into hiding or do we need to see you more? How far now, Colin Kaepernick? Are you going to take this because you have everybody's attention and you have some people calling you in disingenuine. You have some people calling you a martyr. What's next? Do you think people will continue to kneel or do you think it's still necessary to kneel? I don't think Eric Reed is standing anytime soon. Right. I think that brother's going to kneel. I think the brothers that are on the front line, Kenny Stills, and I know that there's one more. I apologize. I don't know the name offhand. I think they're going to continue to kneel. And I think that it matters. I think that it, it, uh, really affected the NFL, the calls Absolutely. to attention, people bringing light to it and and it getting into homes and affecting the money. It really caused chaos within the NFL and they want to see it done. Mm -hmm. And this is why they brought him on. So Jay-Z may say kneeling isn't important anymore. We got to go beyond that. I hear you. But until we see you walk, I don't mind him kneeling. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I want to see, you know, we really do want to see now. Now the spotlight's on now because mm -hmm. now, all right, you got your, you slick. You got your shit off there. You in the NFL. You're supposed to be partnering up. What are you going to do? Because if it's some bullshit in the next, you know, six months or whatever, you know, we're going to be on here talking about on this podcast and ripping these people a new fucking asshole. Let me ask you a question. Now, do we give Jay-Z until February to the halftime show? Um, because that's when everything's going on. Or do we get? Them, <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I mean, that's what's great. It's just a halftime show. Do we do we, <laughs> do we give him the Umar rule? We just let it pass, <laughs> or do we? Or do we kind of give criticism? I mean, what is it? Month one. November. We got to see what they're gonna do. We let's see what the NFL is gonna step up and do now. Since you know they had the press conference out there, and you know Roger Goodell's up there all red faced, and you know seems to be you know co-signing everything Jay Z says. Let's see what the NFL if they're gonna take their money. And remember, police brutality, you know, uh, um, also Colin Kaepernick, a lot of people don't talk about this. He talked about in the speech, he talked about soldiers, you know, coming back and not even getting the right, proper type of care and stuff. Mm -hmm. So he made a lot of issues out there. So it's a start, I guess. So we're going to monitor this thing. Yeah, we want to see what's going to happen in the Super Bowl. Now he's on board. So that means he starts now. So, yeah, we got to wait and see you know, what the NFL social, social injustice or justice campaign is going to look like, man. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, football season is revving up. This is all happening right around the perfect time. Everyone's talking about it. NFL was in conversations. We've been talking about the NFL all week. We ain't even had a sports conversation, but the NFL has been the topic of conversation. Right. We're going to see it. Election year is coming up. Oh, this is very interesting, man. Very interesting. We're going to keep digging in their asses. Yes, sir. Yes, stop. sir. And we see Jay-Z next to Hillary Clinton again. Oh, shit. Man. Now, Bernie, Man. Bernie, I think look looks like Bernie or Camilla. But I, I, I said Camilla off air, but I think it may be Bernie. I seen something with Cardi B um, saying well, something between Jay-Z, Bernie Sanders and everything. It just it's so interesting right around election year. You can't be distracted. Now. Should we? Because, you know, Michael Max, you know, said that, you know, we shouldn't even be looking to entertainers, celebrities to be our leader. Not that we are. But some people do, yeah. foolishly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we even be looking at these people? Absolutely not. Definitely. Absolutely not. And not like, and we joked about it. And I texted my brother this when he was giving us come some conversation on some commentary that we had yesterday, Jermaine Dupree in particular. 
I was telling him, if we didn't own businesses and we and we didn't take this as a career, right? We genuinely wouldn't give a fuck. And let me let me be clear on what I said.